we launched a tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Wednesday, September 22nd, 2021. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Once again, we are back and better than ever with another brand new edition of Recap Wednesday coming your way. There were three pro shows on the slate last weekend but we're kicking off our coverage today with a recap of the annual Monster Zine Pro, where the big headline came from the 212 division, where Juno Kim went out and dominated on the way to collecting the first win of his pro career. The top spot in Classic went to Sheng Yu, who had great conditioning here, just for the record. Jun Ho Lee brought the title home in men's physique, along with the Most Improved Athlete Award. An Dong Jung and Jibin Park we're your winners in figure and bikini, and we're wrapping things up here with women's physique, which was won by Bork M. Park. <laughs> Believe it or not, there was actually pro shows on three continents last weekend, including Champions Classic Pro in Warsaw, Poland, which we're about to jump right into now. In men's physique, Italy's Riccardo Croci punched his ticket to the Olympia weekend by bringing home a big win. Second place went to Malaysia's Tio Kok Hua. As far as I can tell, this might be the first time we've ever had a Malaysian athlete crack the top three in one of our recaps. So congratulations to him. And rounding out the very international feeling top three was Czech Republic's Miroslav Jurczak. Over on the figure side of things, top honors went to Poland's own Anna Geyser. Belarus native Akana Yukno brought home the runner-up spot, and Spain's Veronica Gallego rounded out a solid top three. It was a big weekend for the state of Texas. Not only did the Cowboys score a huge win on the road against the Chargers, the city of Dallas also opened up the doors to the IFBB for this year's Heart of Texas Pro. This ended up being a classic physique-only event on the pro side, but that didn't make it any less exciting thanks to the primetime performance we saw from Brady Barnes as he locked up his first win of the season. Second place went to Toto Zhang, who's been knocking on the door for the last few weeks now. Darren Farrell slid into third, but I keep an eye on him heading into the San Antonio Pro this weekend because he could be dangerous there. Longtime friend of the show, Jay Warren, brought home a well-deserved fourth place in his season debut, and rounding out this really special top five group was rookie Derek Dosnitsky. <laughs> And we're closing out the show today with an update from Nick Walker, who's only a few days away from stepping on stage at the biggest show of his career at the Arnold Classic. When he was a guest on Fuad Abiyad's podcast recently, Nick said that he believed that he saw himself as a potential top five finisher at the Olympia this year, and that if he was at his best, then realistically, he only sees Rami Hattie, Brandon, and William Bonek as the only athletes in the Open who are better than he is right now. The reason I bring this up is because Nick also said that if he places in the top five this year, that he's going to take almost the entire year off to give himself more time to make improvements, so that in 2022, he would come in as a legitimate title contender. Now, whether or not that ends up happening remains to be seen, but I will say Nick is one of the most fascinating athletes in the entire division right now. So if he does what he says he will do, get ready, because his stock is about to shoot through the roof. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.